All right, good morning. Let's uh, get into this real quick. Uh, what we're going to do is some live trading this morning. And we're going to be doing this on the NQ. In fact, we're going to be doing it on the micro NQ. Um, just to kind of give everyone some sort of a day trading experience of what's really involved and what to look for. Kind of, you know, just a, a quick synopsis of what I do uh, on, on quick days if I wanted to trade in the morning and whatnot. So right now we are looking at the NQ. I'm going to go ahead and actually switch over uh, to the micro NQ uh, this morning and uh, kind of just give you an idea of where I put my, um, you know, resistance lines as well as where I'm going to put the support lines and whatnot, right? As you can see, it's already, uh, you know, 9.30. I've already done some trades in the morning. Uh, just because I saw something and I just took it. And I want to show you a couple of things while it's happening live. Here's a support line that I'm going to put. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of resistance lines. As you can see, um, this is on the one hour. I'm going to go ahead and change it to the one minute, which is what I usually like to see uh, when I'm trading fast, right? So let's zoom in a little bit here and take a look. As you can see, I already had a big downward slope uh, from earlier, and I'm just going to draw some of these points where I know it may bounce back um, either from the top or from the bottom. Uh, this is what we're looking at currently. I've drawn some, some of these resistance and support areas where I think the price will navigate to or you know at least try to hit and then bounce off of those either from the bottom or come back down from the top, right? And the idea behind it is looking at uh, the MACD, we're looking at the RAM indicator, and we look at uh, some of the support and resistance areas um, and see what we can make out of it, right? So as you can see, it's coming down, and let's see what happens here. Um, we can, you know, either look to see if this uh, support area is going to hold, and if it doesn't, then that's an opportunity to go short. And if there is a, a support area and real support, then we we take a long and. Um, and that's that's the whole idea behind of this, right? And you know where to mark your risks, right? and that's that's the goal, right? We want it. Sometimes, you know, I, I may end up holding it just because, you know, I'm already up to 74, right? So I may end up holding it, uh, take a little bit of risk to to kind of see where it goes. And, and NQ is very volatile, right? As you can see right there, it went down two candles and then boom, right back up and then came back down. You'll see, look, it broke the top. It's going to go up and it's trying to reach to the next top. And it touched it. Boom. You see how it touched it and came right back down? This is real time, guys. And, and you'll see this over and over again. And we want to see if it breaks and it continues to go upwards. And if it does, then there's an opportunity right here to take a buy. So you have it broke. Let's take it in. And, you know, I don't generally like to chase, right? Because once you start chasing, uh, you're going to get in trouble. All right, so if I put in an order, I'm, I'm just going to wait for it to come through. And if it doesn't come through, I'll walk away. That's fine. Um, and that, I hate I hate that. It, it got away from us really fast, and that's it. No, no chasing, okay? I, this is not something that you want to do because... Uh, you're going to make an ass out of yourself. You just wait for the time. As you can see, the MAC key has is, is got a big spike up. So definitely room for some upward movement right here. And this is what I look at, right? You look at the, the MACD in conjunction with support and resistance area. And I also look at the RAM uh, just so we have an idea of where it's going. Anything above the zero line on the MACD generally want to go up towards the... Uh, the upper area and, and longs, right? And the market just popped up and it's at 9.32 right here. See, it's been two minutes since the market opened. 
we see it kind of climb up and I'm going to give me about a few minutes just to see how things play out. Um, I will go ahead and in a minute, give me a second, add some of this uh, other instruments here, some of these uh, ADs. Right now the RAM is at 15277, right? So it will come back down. We want to just be mindful of uh, how this plays out. And patience is the game, right? If I were to chase, 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 I may end up buying at the top, and then it just reverses, and I hate that. So right now, look at this. We are at 7 already on the MACD. It's gone up. And just wait. See where it goes. We slowly just be patient. And I'm going to pause some of these things sometimes. I'll, I'll skip and cut through it. Uh, because, you know, these are one-minute candles. Sometimes you don't want to sit here and watch. and you get stuck and then your mindset is way off over the weekend and you, you get screwed. You're always constantly thinking about a position that you had. You could have gone and done this. You could have done that. Um, you just want to stay away from that. So, all right, let's see what we got here. There's a possibility of a short forming. Now, here's the thing. We have a red candle forming. So we can possibly have another resistance uh, line drawn over here. This could be a good spot where we can uh, draw that resistance line. Um, sometimes, you know, these red candles could be fake and people just taking profit. Uh, so we wait a few candles. We could do that. But if it breaks that green candle, the previous green candle, there's a possibility of continuous uh, way up and so we just have to be mindful of that you can see on the MACD 15 it's already gone up to as far as 15 which is our real spot where we would like to enter shorts right even even though we're above the MACD look how uh, the green candles on the, the MACDs are we got really really high green candles and we're at 16 and uh, once I see an opportunity for a short like a cross I'm gonna take it but let me add some of this uh, ADs for the NASDAQ so you can kind of see 
how many uh, open see a lot of green okay so means it's going to continue to go up so we want to be mindful of that when you start seeing those numbers come down then there's a possibility of a short coming through so right now we are over here looking at this continuation let's see we want to be mindful okay so we got the MACD about to curve and I'm looking to see if I can get into a short here Oh, give it another few candles. As you can see, the candles have gotten smaller and smaller, right? You saw the first three big green candles. Those three big candles were a lot of bulls that came in, and then the bulls got tired. And you start seeing, when the bulls get tired, you start seeing those smaller candles. And now we got this red candle. Let me draw this line over here, give you sort of a, a resistance point. And possibly, I want to put, I'm seeing this MACD curving, so there's going to be a cross somewhere around here. I, you know, this is me predicting that it's about to curve down. And let's see, we can add a couple of these things here. Bollinger, we knew the upper band is going to be touched dramatically, and you got the mid band right there. So it's definitely going to come back down to the mid band, and we're seeing the curve on the MACD approaching. So maybe here's look, it touched the top of the resistance, came back down. This is the middle band for the Bollinger. Let's see if we can. Um, Go for a short over here. This would be possibly a good entry. Yeah. You see this the curve down on the MACD? I know I'm only sharing one screen, so uh, apologize if uh, I have multiple screens that I'm looking at. Uh, I know if you've been watching my uh, training, you'll see I have multiple screens and multiple things. So, so I'm doing multiple things at the same time, but looking at it, this is where I'm going to look to to get into a short. I like sometimes to take market shorts, but this time I'm just going to put a limit and try to get you know 30 30 bucks around. Try to make sure I want it for the live session. I'm not going crazy. I want to show you where we are. See this right here is what I'm thinking across, and that uh, cross is where we're going to see a downward trend.
some of you that don't have large accounts, you can use the micro. This is a great way to kind of get that experience at the same time, not lose a lot of money, because you could lose a lot of money on futures, right? And that's why we have disclaimers in the beginning. So remember, I was talking about that circle. <laughs> oh, look at the MACD. It's about to cross right in the area where I was, where I was targeting. Once that cross happens, we know it's it's gonna it's got this downward sp spiral, right? That's when you will see an aggressive move downward, and maybe not as fast, but enough to be able to capture some profit. And that's what I do. I try to look up for these simple, simple trade setups. Uh, you may be in it. I mean, this is something that you can do on the side while you're doing a day job. And while you're doing this, you wait, right? Because patience is a game, right? Uh, you, you're not a robot. You're not going in and out, in and out for every single candle. Um, and you never know, you know, things could change. And, and this is why, you know, I'd like to watch what times I'm trading. Right? The first half an hour is critical. I try to avoid trading anything after 11.15. Between 11.15 and about 2 o'clock, it's very dull. Um, people are at lunch. Uh, there could be some news event at 2 o'clock when people come back. Um, between 2 to 3.30 is a lot of the activity that happens. And then 3.30 is around where I try to look for exits and just get out and flatten out. That's a typical day. On Tuesdays, very good. Fridays, I try to just wrap up before 11.15. Here you can see, I think it went up as high as like 67, 80. Yeah, 67, yeah. And now there's a cross about to happen. This is the strategy that I use mostly. I just wait. It's going to come down. Sure, um, I could have added if I wanted to here. Um, but I avoid on a Friday adding just because I don't want to have a crappy weekend. I want to try to. So we could be in trouble here, but 
I'm still pretty confident that we're pretty high up there in the MACD that there's a chance it's going to come back. to be comfortable with that right just un understanding what how they play you and even right now I have this buy order down here and that buy order I'm sure TOS knows that my buy order is there and they try to navigate away from it try to get me out but continue to take take it up and you know it's not like TOS is taking this up there's a lot of other traders out there there's a lot of other robots there's a lot of news cycles, there's you know, earnings, a lot of factors play into all of this. All right, so here we go. I think, yeah, I see the, the MACD pointing down. It's trying to expand a little bit. Oh, snap. There we go. There's that big splat I was talking about. And here we go. We are done. And that's one trade. You know, it took a while. I mean... 
25 minutes, give or take, uh, we were in this trade. It made only 30 bucks. I'm really not excited about it, right? But um, I got in at the wrong time, and we could have made a little bit more. But that's okay. Now, over here, you see this big splat, and, and it's only been, what, 20 minutes after the market opened? Right, 25 minutes. One trade. I actually, I've had multiple trades already, but I'm going to draw this line here real quick. I've had multiple trades already. And this is another uh, support area that we can introduce. And if that breaks, it'll continue down to the ramp. See, this this is where uh, I draw these lines now. Now it, we can establish this. And it broke it, and it's going to go ahead to the ramp. Right. And now you see on the MACD, you see it expanding a lot. Right. And I'm going to try to see this MAC. Uh, okay, so let me do some RAM. I might want to go in along here. I'm going to try to get it long. And it's going to touch the RAM indicator and then bounce up. And I'm going to try to capture that. And because we're above the MACD, Anything above MACD, remember, want to go longs as long as it's not crazy high, like in the 16s, 17s. All right, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll try to grab this long over here. As soon as it hits, I'm going to try to go for the exit. So it'll touch. I'm going to try to take a exit right there. Okay, so we're looking at about 20 bucks, give or take. 30 bucks. 34 okay so here's the thing we got a whole bunch of red candles there's gonna be some breathing we're gonna touch this RAM indicator you see this MACD on the bottom here we're still above we want to draw another line there's gonna be some support over here this is my risk if it goes down as that far I'm gonna exit but at the same time I'm hopeful. <laughs> Again, this is the RAM indicator. It's going to navigate around this area and then boom, back up. And it may be a few candles that'll go back up, and that's the whole idea is to capture those $20, $30, right? Here we go. Let's capture this 30 bucks and then call it a day. All right, and if you do this multiple times a day, and this is what? Only 10 o'clock. Come on, let's try to grab this. This is pretty much how I trade. Sure, there's other methods. Other people use other techni uh, technical uh, indicators and whatnot. Uh, but this is what I use. And it's been working great for me. I've not been crazy chasing huge profits. I'm not looking at thousands and thousands of dollars a day. We're looking at a few hundred here, and then build your account. Your idea is to build your account so that you can do thousands and thousands of dollars a day. Uh, sometimes in the beginning, you know, you don't have a, a large account, and you just want to build to get to that point. And that's the goal, right? I teach that, and in my course, at the same time, I want everybody to mind, be mindful of their uh, risks, appetite. Uh, with that said, I think we're done here. It did bounce off of that RAM indicator, and I took the, uh, the profit. Uh, so, yeah, I think we started, I think, 240. We're at 340, give or take. Um, we're pretty much done here, and I want to get you this line here. This is what I draw. And now you just continue to play off these lines and see how it behaves. You got uh, all sorts of uh, techniques that you can use. This is my technique. Hope it helps. Good luck trading. Thanks, guys, for watching. Just make sure you subscribe and like and comment. Uh, I'd love your feedback. Some of the things that I do may not be conventional. Uh, it may not be something that most traders do, but this is what I've been doing, and it's been working out great. So. Uh, if something else is working out great for you, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to uh, uh, trade it and see how I can I can play it. Uh, I'm always about learning new things. So 
So happy to hear your comments and uh, make sure you subscribe and like. Thank you so much.